Hi everyone and welcome back. Amy here from the ChildNet education team. ChildNet is an online safety charity and our mission and goal is to make the internet a great and safe place for children and young people. This is the second of six interactive videos all about our special smart rules. These are six simple tips to help you stay safe online and when you're using technology. You might even have heard of them before. Now, of course, they're not going to tell you everything you need to know, but we think they're a really good place to start. During these videos, we're going to ask lots of questions and give you some time to discuss your ideas. So we would really like it if adults and children could work through these videos together. Also, look out for our three special challenges at the end. In this video, I'm going to talk you through the M rule. So let's get started. And the first thing we need to do is work out exactly what that M stands for. I'll give you 10 seconds to have a think. Hmm, what did you come up with? Could M be for mirror? Maybe it's M for mountain. What about M for meat? Well, actually, M is for meat, but not the kind you can see on the screen. I meant this type of meat, when two people see each other in person. But we're gonna come back to that later. Firstly, it looks like Sammy might have a question for us. Sammy wants us to think about who we can talk to using the internet. That could be on a video call, using messages, in a game, in a group chat, any online way of talking to people. Let's take 20 seconds to name as many people who you might speak to online as possible, starting now. Five seconds left. Okay, stop. How many did you manage? I came up with a few. My mum, my dad and my brother, because I don't live with them at the moment, so I like talking to them and catching up to see how they are. Some of my friends live a really long way away, so I message them a lot as well. And yesterday, my phone wasn't working properly, so I went on the internet and chatted with an engineer online who helped me work out how to fix it. You probably thought of more people than I did, but don't worry if you do need more time, because there'll be a chance to pause in a minute if you want to. I want you to think about all the people you talk to online, and I want you to sort them into two groups. The first group is people you know offline as well as online, so people who you know in person. The second group is people who you only know online or through the internet. You could write your groups down or just talk about it instead. Take as long as you need by pausing the video now. Good job. Hopefully you have two clear groups. People you know offline, but use the internet to communicate with too, and people who you only know online. At ChildNet, we believe the internet is a really fantastic tool and we know that lots of people use it for communicating with their family and friends. Whether it's playing games together, sharing videos or chatting with family you can't see in person, it's important to celebrate the amazing ways the internet can bring us all together. The last thing I want everyone to do before we get back to that M rule we mentioned earlier is turn to the person you're sat with and tell them your favourite part about talking to friends and family online. You've got 10 seconds, go. Okay, so I'm sure we can all agree that talking with our friends, family, and other people we already know online is great. But what about the other group? People we only know through the internet. This is a time when we need to be a bit more careful what do we call someone who we only know online? Ah, here's Sammy with a clue for us. Thanks, Sammy. Have a think for a moment. Have you got it? Someone we only know online is technically a stranger. Well done if you got that right. Now we know there are lots of ways you can end up talking to strangers online. You might message someone who works for a company 
to ask a question or for help with a job or task. You might play a game with someone online and talk about the game. But it doesn't matter how we are talking to these people or even whether they seem friendly and kind. We always need to think carefully about what we share with them. Think about this offline situation. You're walking down the road and a stranger comes up to you. They ask for your name, your address, and where you go to school. Would you tell them? Of course not. And it's exactly the same online when we are using technology. Personal information that could be used to work out who we are or where we come from needs to be kept safe and private. You already know all about this if you watched our last video on the S rule with Tom. If not, you can check it out when this video is finished. So that brings us on to the M rule. And like we said, M is for meet. Let's explore an example. Here are some messages being sent in an online game. Can't believe we've been playing this game together for so long. I know, you're my online bestie. Wish we could chat in person. Do you want to meet up? If you would like to, now is a good time to pause the video and talk about your reaction to these messages together. Have you ever received any messages like this? How does this example make you feel? Good work, everyone. I've been thinking really carefully about these messages and I think there's a really simple one word answer to that question, do you want to meet up? Can you guess what it is? On the count of three, let's have a go at saying it together. One, two, three, no. Even if someone you're talking to online seems friendly, it's really important to never agree to meet up. Not everyone online is who they say they are and a meeting in person might not be safe. This is why M is for meet. Don't meet up with someone you only know online, even if they are very nice to you, even if you've been chatting to them or playing on a game with them for a long time, they are still a stranger. It's all very well talking about what you can't do in this situation, but as Sammy rightly says, what can you do? Take 20 seconds and have a think. What could you do if someone online asked to meet up? Five seconds to go. Well done. Hopefully you've got a few ideas, but don't worry if not. Sammy's going to give you a helping hand or a wing. There's lots of things you can do if someone online wants to meet up. As we've already said, you can say no. Sometimes people worry this might seem rude, but you can be polite about it. Try saying, no thanks, I'm only allowed to talk to you online. A good friend will accept this answer and it shouldn't be a problem. If it is, and they're upset or being unkind and not taking no for an answer, you might want to use the report or block button. You could also exit the conversation, maybe by leaving the game or closing down the chat. But more important than anything else is that you tell an adult you know and trust about what's happened. That could be mum, dad, or whoever looks after you at home or a teacher at school. Any adult you know and trust can help in this situation. If you want to, now would be a good time to pause the video and talk about what you will do if you're ever in this situation. Which adults are you going to tell? And how can you let them know you have something important to say? Adults, if you're watching too, what would you want your child to do? Fantastic work, everyone. We've got one more really important thing to tell you about. Have you ever heard of SEOP? The M rule is so important that there are special police officers who help protect us from strangers online who might try and meet up with young people. These police officers are known as SEOP and they work really hard to spread the word about the importance of the M rule. They even have their own website. Check out the logo on the screen, www.thinkyouknow.co.uk, with you as in the letter, not the word, is a great website run by the police. It has videos, games and more to help you learn how to stay safe online. They even have a special report button that you might have seen before. You should only use this button in certain situations relating to the M rule. So 
if someone you only know online is asking to meet up, asking for your personal information, or asking for photos or videos of you. Remember, to make a report to CEOP, you just need to go to their website. We think it's always best to do this with an adult you know and trust so they can help, but you can do it on your own if you really need to. So there we go. That's the M rule. M is for meet. Don't meet up with someone you only know online. Speak to an adult you know and trust about what's happened instead. And use the CEOP reporting button if you need to. But now you know the M rule, what next? Well, we have three special challenges you might like to try. Number one, let's celebrate how great the internet is for helping us stay in touch. We challenge you to chat with an offline friend, someone from school or a member of family via video call. Even better, tell them about the M rule. Just make sure you check with whoever's in charge at home first. Number two, we love watching funny dance videos online. So our second challenge to you is to invent a dance to help you remember that M is for meat. And number three, hopefully you'll never need to use it, but we challenge you to visit CEOP's website at www.thinkyouknow.co.uk and try and spot the report button. Whilst you're there, you might want to play some of their games and videos. Pick whichever challenge you'd like to try or have a go at all three. Adults, there's lots more information about staying safe online on our website, www.childnet.com. And if you do manage any of the challenges and would like to share the results with us, we'd love to see what you get up to. You can get in touch directly with the education team by emailing us at education at childnet.com. Thanks so much for listening and we'll see you again next time. Bye.